Seduction, Japan's Floating World, is an exhibition that deals with the artwork of the popular entertainment districts of the city of Edo, which is present-day Tokyo. The works include paintings, woodblock prints, textiles, and other kinds of decorative art objects. The term floating world, or ukiyo, has its origins in Buddhist texts. And there it means the suffering caused by desire. The concept is one of abandoning yourself to pleasures, to letting yourself float along, ignoring poverty around you and other unpalatable circumstances, and just turning yourself over to sensual pleasures. There was kind of a creative explosion in the early Edo period as artists sought to portray these popular themes. There were prints that were made as kind of ephemera, like playbills or handbills that were produced at the start of a theater season. There are other prints that seem to have been used like paintings. A visit to the Yoshiwara is a hand scroll. It's almost 58 feet long. The Yoshiwara was a moated and gated district, a set about two miles from the center of the city. At its height, there were several thousand prostitutes working in the Yoshiwara. Samurai were not supposed to go into the quarter. Uh, although they did, and when they did, they entered in disguise. If you look carefully, you'll see two swords sticking out of their sashes. The special thing about the Yoshiwara were these elite courtesans. One of the most spectacular paintings in the exhibition is the painting of Hell Courtesan, and it shows us this uh, legendary 15th century prostitute who wore a robe decorated with scenes of hell as a way of doing penance or atoning for what she saw as her shameful occupation. Seduction runs concurrently with a second exhibition, The Printer's Eye, our opportunity to showcase 88 woodblock prints. Together, the exhibitions offer an opportunity to go deeper and explore the culture and history of Edo period Japan. What I wanted to do in the exhibition was really to call attention to the fact that these paintings are artificial constructs. They're not meant to represent reality. Courtesans were not allowed to leave the quarter unless they had written permission from the owner of the brothel they worked for. They were subject to venereal disease, unwanted pregnancies, harsh treatment at the hands of clients, or even their sister courtesans. They are very beautiful works of art at the same time, but I think it's really important to kind of hold both of those ideas in mind at once and not uh, accept them as being in some way a reality.